G'day folks, it's been a little while, but this afternoon with just a couple of hours of daylight left, I've come out here to one of my favourite little creeks, with a couple of rods, some Janjuk worms, and I'm going to see if I can catch a fish. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. One of the first things you'll notice here is that the grass has gotten quite long since I was here last. I actually had to pull out a few weeds just so that I could access the creek. But as with all of these types of videos, I've got two rods with uh, a Pat Noster rig, but I'm going to show you about something about the other one in a second. And I've got two Janjuk worms on each hook. This one's only got a small sinker because I'm just going to put him down there on the inside of the current. This other one here, you'll notice that the stream is actually quite high. It's a lot higher than what it usually is. We've had a lot of rain lately and the river's still really high, but there's quite a lot of current pushing through. And I want to have a line over there on that back water. So what I've done, oh look at this, I'm getting a bite straight away. This one just had a bite straight away. It's like been in 30 seconds. I kid you not. As I was saying, what I'm doing with this rod, I've got quite a big sinker. That's because I want to fish in that back water over there. So by having a, a quite a large sinker, that will enable me to put that over there on the other side of that current. That's right about where I want it. And the current and the drag on the line won't move the sinker. If I was using too small a sinker, if I had too small a sinker on, the current would pick up that slack line and drag the sinker way out here into the middle and I could potentially end up with both lines tangled. So by using that really big sinker, that'll enable it to stay on the other side of the current so I can keep a line on each side. How was that? I literally had a bite within probably 20 seconds of putting that line in then. Wow. Something else you'll notice tonight is I'm using my old net, this real small net. If you, you know that new net that I bought? I've used it on a few videos like that much bigger net with a shorter handle that I can pull the handle off to don carp on the head and I've caught a couple of yellow belly in it. Well, that's MIA. I suspect it might be on the bank of the Broken Creek from my last trip over there with Brett Corker a couple of weeks ago. I bought it, I used it three or four times and now I've lost it. <laughs> Ooh. That had a really good bite just then and I missed it. I've only been here about 10 or 15 minutes and I've already had a nice bites on each rod. That's a great sign. Getting a bit of a bite here. Got him. Not very big, but I got him. What have I got? A tiny little red fin. Look at that. I've literally been here 10 minutes. I've had a really nice bite on this rod. A couple of little nibbles on this rod. And now I've just caught a weeny little red fin. I'm on the board within five minutes of getting here. Lovely little red fin. See you later, mate. Awesome. I'm off to a great start. I've got plenty of worms. I might throw these old worms in for a bit of burley and put a fresh one on. Well, it's all happening. I've literally been here 10 minutes and I've already had three or four bites and caught a fish. Either I've got you right in the middle of a bite window or I'm in for a bloody good night. <laughs> Let me right, I just happened to look up. Oh, I missed it. I just happened to look up and this rod was bent right over. But I was too slow off the mark. It wasn't a real fast bite, it was just pulling down, almost like a crayfish bite. Hopefully whatever it was comes back. Come back here! Your rod nearly been pulled in the body. Your rod nearly got pulled in the creek. I've gone ass over here, I'm in a hell of a mess. Come back here. <laughs> Whoa! That's a bloody Murray cod. I caught one here a couple of years ago. You know, I was only just thinking a minute ago, I caught a cod here in spring a couple of years ago, and all the fishing trips I've done here lately, I haven't caught one here. I wonder with the water being a bit higher, and being springtime and they swim upstream to spawn, I wonder if a Murray cod would come up here at this time of the year, and uh, to try and spawn. It's probably too small to be spawning, but I reckon it's something to do with the springtime. I was just replying to my good friend Laura, Laura works for New South Wales Roads and Maritime, she's a boating educator. And I was just replying to her text message. <laughs> Sorry if I sound a bit puffed. I was just replying to her text message and I looked up and the rod was bent right over and it almost got pulled in the river. Did you see how close that got? I fell flat on my ass. I'd rather just reach over and uh, not even lift this fish out of the water, but I haven't got much choice because I'm too far 
up off the water. Anyway, this creek just keeps producing. I'll unhook them. There you go, folks. Lovely little Murray cod, very fat. Probably around 45 centimetres long. Out of the creek of mixed species. You get everything in this creek. Alrighty, yeah. See you later, buddy. Now that fish was about 40 centimetres and it almost pulled my rod in off this fishing rod holder. Imagine what a uh, uh, trying to stick it in a bit tighter. Imagine what a really big cod would do. Now for those people that sometimes get upset with me and uh, and get mad at me for throwing redfin back in the water, that cod that size, around 40 to 45 centimetres, would make an absolute meal out of that small redfin that I put back. The relationship between that cod and that redfin is very similar to the relationship between me and McDonald's. It's not good for me, but geez, I love it. Right, I'll put that back in there. Having a blast. Like, not even half an hour I've been here and I've caught one redfin and one cod and a few other bites. I might start referring to this creek as Lucky Dip Creek because I never quite know what I'm going to catch. I've caught stacks of carp here, I've caught a few redfin, I've caught a couple of Murray cod and a few blackfish. <laughs> That's a real lucky dip when you come fishing in this spot. It'd be hilarious if the next fish I catch was a uh, yellow belly or a Macquarie perch or a trout cod or something, all of which are quite possible where I am. Right, yeah, current time is 7.32. I got here a bit after 6 o'clock, so I've been fishing for around about an hour and a half. I caught a small redfin and a small Murray cod both in the first 20 minutes of getting here and I've hardly had a touch since until now. I'm just getting a bite. Isn't it funny? I'm just, just about to tell you how funny it was that I haven't, uh, that I had all that action as soon as I got here and then nothing. And the moment I start filming, I had a bite on this rod. And here's something still playing with it. Here he goes. Jesus, look at this. Oh, shit, I was too slow getting down here. There he's back, he's back. Got him. Oh, I lost him. Back up. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Nearly got fish number three. I'll put it straight back where it was, which was right about there. Here we go, here we go. Oh, how did I miss that? That was a great bite. That's two really nice bites that I've missed in about the last bloody ten minutes. There is absolutely no way that this camera is going to be picking it up. But I can see a water rat over there. He's just, a, just got back in the water now and he's swimming off. He'd climbed up, there's a bit of a tree coming out on a 45 degree angle and he climbed up there and was just grooming himself. Right, yeah, the sun has just set. I was actually hoping to get a good photo of the sunset but I couldn't see it properly because I had too much dusk in my eyes. Anyway folks, sun's down, pun's down. <laughs> right, folks, it's quarter past eight, I can barely see, I'm going home. I've been here a bit over two hours and all the action came in the, 20, in the first 20 minutes, isn't that just incredible? Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you'll join me in my next video.